Hey guys, welcome to my channel where I talk about all things mindset and weightlifting. And today we are going to be talking about when you feel overwhelmed and you just feel like everything is important. This is such an important topic because I feel like you get those people who just want to be in control all the time. And I'm like that. So I tend to think that everything is important. And instead of just saying, okay, there's three main things I need to focus on today, I think that there's 20 things I need to focus on. And now with our trip coming up to America, I really need to make sure that I dial down on the things that are really important and the priorities. And that's the way I'm going to not just get things done, but I'm also going to eliminate a lot of stress and anxiety. So guys, if this is you and you feel like you deal with a situation where things just feel like there's so much going on and you just feel so overwhelmed, stay tuned because this video is perfect for you. So often what happens is when we think everything is important, then nothing is important because we get so overwhelmed and we end up not being able to give our best for the main things that we need to focus on. And we literally just give a couple of percent of ourselves to each and everything that we literally think is important. And we end up getting nothing done or nothing gets done with quality. So I'm going to be talking about how we can make sure that we get the main things done with quality and making sure that we don't overwhelm ourselves. And like I said, this will eliminate so much stress and so much anxiety and it will just make you feel like, ah, I can take a step back and breathe and I can focus on the things that are in my control. First and foremost, we need to remember that we need to make things as simple as possible. So what I like doing is when I feel overwhelmed, I'll go and do either uh, a little meditation or I'll go for a little mindfulness walk just to remind myself that, you know, focus on me, focus on the main things, don't get too overwhelmed. And when I do these little things for myself where I go for like a mindfulness walk or I just do a bit of meditation, I tend to clear my mind and when I wake up or when I come home from my walk, I feel like now I can focus on the main things that I need to control. So remember, don't forget to make things as simple as possible. And the other thing that's so important is we often forget how valuable quiet time is. So sometimes what happens is we'll wake up and we'll just feel frantic and overwhelmed and just so stressed and we'll just start doing this and a little bit of that and just, you know, that just tends to be your day and before you know it, the day's over and you haven't really finished anything that you are working on. And when this happens, the best thing to do is when you wake up in the morning, give yourself a little bit of quiet time, give you that quiet time so that you can refocus, so that you can feel energized when you come out of that quiet time. And just also, just to make your mind clear of just everything that's going on there and just focusing on a couple of things that you know is priority. I will then go after I've done my little quiet time, I will take out my book or my diary and I will go and write down three things that I just have to get done today. Not 10 things, not 20 things, not nine or eight things, just three things. If I get those three things done, then I will have some secondary things that I will start working on. But if I don't get the secondary things done, it's okay. But then at least I know I gave all of my attention to the three main things that I need to get done today. When we think also everything is important and we get so overwhelmed, we tend to get monkey brain. So our mind is thinking yeah and there and yes and this and blah, 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 blah. And without us even realizing like we're not even thinking clear and we cannot give any of our attention to the one task that we know we need to get done. So this is why quiet time is so important and this is why you need to prioritize the simple things that you need to get done. And again, once those things are done, then you can move to the secondary things and start it, but don't put that pressure on yourself that it has to get done because you'll never be in a situation where you need to get 20 things done in one go. So when we have that quiet time, our brain can sort out what is fact, so what are the things that are priority, and what are fiction? What are the things that we think is important but isn't really important? So this is a great reason why you need to have your quiet time. And it doesn't need to be hours, 
even if you have five to 10 minutes every morning when you wake up and the same thing at night, when you have that five to 10 minutes, it just sets you up for success for the next day. It's also a great way to then kind of just reflect on how the day went and just also calm you down so that you can have a good night's rest. Because also when we have that monkey brain, I don't know if you've ever had this feeling, but I can almost guarantee most of us have, when you're so overwhelmed and you have so much going on, it tends to mess with your sleep. So when you wake up in the morning, you're not really rest or you didn't really rest well. So you tend to find that you wake up feeling anxious starting your next day. So there's huge power in making sure the night before you set yourself up for success the next day. So just to recap guys, it's so important to make sure you find the simplicity in life because finding the simplicity in life and doing the simple things and focusing on the priority will eliminate so much chaos because we will often find that there's so much chaos in our day and so much going on. But more often than not, we create that chaos. Our minds create that chaos. So we must focus on the things that we can control. So the next time this happens, number one, go and have your quiet time. Number two, write down the three most important things that you need to do. And number three, write down the secondary things that if you finish those three things, you can start the secondary things. Guys, now those are my tips today for just making things simple and just avoiding a lot of chaos in your life. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ring that notification bell, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.